okay, so what could be better than doing this one more time, right? So I've already gone, we've already gone through, we've set this problem up. We've got um, three charges, um, zero, one, and two. Uh, the charges are different. Q zero, we say is twice the charge of the other two. So Q1 equals Q2 equals Q. All right, and it has an opposite, the opposite sign. So um, these are our sources. We want to have the, we want to look at what the field point would, what the field would be at that point right there. B. Uh, we already did this for a point A, which was right here, halfway in between um, these two guys there. Um, this time we'll just we'll look at this one. So instead of everything being on a line, which makes some things easier, we don't have to worry really about the vectors. Now we will have to worry about the vectors, um, although there are some symmetries here that look, make it look a little nicer, um, at least to a physicist, even though the answer I know um, from having already done it doesn't end up looking any nicer. Basically, we're going to follow the same steps that we did before. First, we're going to find um, the distances from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. Uh, then we'll find what the fields are based on those, and then we're going to go ahead and um, sum up all three of those fields, and adding all three of those together, that gives us the total field. That's uh, called super. That, that's called superimposing the fields. So, first, um, like I said, we have to find those displacements. And, you know, I know it looks really, really complicated. Our displacement R, um, 2B from 0 is going to be equal to um, XB minus X0. Uh, X0 is just 0, so, so it's minus um, S over 2Y hat. So we've got that one. Uh, we also have to worry about... Um, the uh, sep the um, displacement that we have to do to go from 1 to uh, B, in which case we have um, minus, a, or we've got B, right, which is minus S over 2 Y hat, and then we um, subtract from that minus S X hat, which is going to just be S X hat minus S over 2 Y hat. Okay, and we do do this one more time, uh, looking from this guy over here instead. So we have minus s over two y hat because we're subtracting x b, or we're subtracting um, two x two from x b, and we just have minus s so s x the s x hat this time because it's going the other way, and we have this for our vector. Uh, fairly simple, nothing um, gratuitous. I think we'll, I think we can live with all of this, right? Um, so, how, so how are we going to make this work? Okay, so two, we want to find the individual fields. Okay, so that we do with the Coulomb field. E is equal to Q over four pi epsilon naught right, r hat over r squared, so e from um, 0 to b, right, 2xb, uh, is equal to what? Um, 0 has minus 2q as its charge, and we have 4 pi epsilon not here. Um, what else can we do? We have um, the, well, the direction is minus y hat, and the displacement is just um, s squared. So we have s over 2 squared here. Um, so we don't get anything really, really um, fancy from this. We just get um, minus 8 times q over 4 pi epsilon naught y hat over s squared. 
So this looks very, very similar to what we saw here, only in the y hat direction, uh, in the minus y hat direction instead of the mi in the plus x direction, which is completely dependent, be completely because of you know the change of um, orientation. This is a rotation, but uh, this is really just a rotation, a 90 degree rotation. It should look the same, so that's good. Okay. So E1 at xb then is going to be just q over 4 pi epsilon naught because it only has q for a charge. Um, the distance here, so we need to square the distance in the um, denominator, is s squared plus s squared over 4, um, it seems to me. That, that seems to be absolutely true. Um, r hat is going to be the vector r over the magnitude of r, and the magnitude of r is the square root of um, this thing. So we're going to get the three halves here, plus we're going to get an sx hat minus s over 2 y hat. Okay, And e2 xb well, it's almost the same thing, okay? Um, we change this sign, so we get minus s x hat minus s over 2 y hat. Okay, put the parenthesis there. And then we have s squared plus s squared over 4 to the 3 halves. Um, So I guess we can just we can just uh, pull some of these things out so we get um, something along the lines of uh, four over five to the three halves q over four pi epsilon naught um, s squared x hat minus y hat over 2, um, and this equals basically the same thing, um, but we're going to change that x hat direction, sort of like that, um, and then we just superimpose. Now. Uh, in the y hat direction, we just have to we can just add everything up. But in the x hat direction, you'll notice that this and this are um, additive inverses, right? This x is minus that, and everything else is the same, so they cancel. So all of the force is actually in the y direction, right? So e is going to equal. Um, let's see. So that's negative, then is that negative? Oh, actually, there, there are two, two negatives. That should be positive, I'm sorry. So good, good. So we have 8 minus, these two are going to add together, right? So we just have a y hat. So we have 8 minus um, 4 fifths to the 3 halves, um, q over 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 over s squared in the y hat direction, okay? And you can feel free to calculate what that number is, compare it to what we did in the previous um, video. Everyone will be happy because I won't have to type anything into the, um, I won't have to type anything into the calculator because I don't like calculators, but you'll get to play with the calculator, get, get some numbers, and since you like calculators, everything will be wonderful, right? So everybody's happy. Um, just so long as you start typing numbers into your calculator. I'll see you in class.